Hello, my name is Jakob Kiebelberg. I'm head of SAP Success Factors for the CE region. And today I will speak about the five things to get right in human experience and making a great candidate experience, the critical success factors. There is never a second chance for making a first impression. This holds true in the business world and especially in recruiting. Now, research shows that a candidate has got seven seconds to make a first impression on you as a hiring manager. But are you aware that you as an organization have got the exact same seven seconds to make an impression, a great first impression onto that candidate? And here comes the tricky part. It might be that these seven seconds happen when this candidate interacts with any of your current or former employees or simply while visiting your web page or when having an interaction with your product or service. Now, are you turning your employees into ambassadors? Are you providing the employee experience on making your employees real ambassadors and in that sense, attracting the greatest talent into your organization? This is what we will speak about now. Today, many organizations fall short of meeting candidates and employees' expectations. Too many organizations follow a very traditional HCM, human capital management approach, where the managers simply focus on the goals that an organization wants to achieve and try to get their employees to do what they ask them by simply providing, for example, monetary incentives. Employees are perceived as interchangeable assets. Interchangeable assets? I don't want to feel as an interchangeable asset. Would you? So what drives the candidate's decision to react to a job advert, to apply and finally accept an offer? Emotions drive experience. Emotions are the ingredients for so many of our decisions in our lives. And it is just exactly the same in recruiting. In the recruiting process, we should never lose track about how candidates actually feel. Did you know that the term emotional roller coaster was actually first coined in the context of job seeking? And it totally makes sense. Excitement, frustration, fear, hope, the feeling of success. We all know what people, what candidates are going through in the process of a job application. And we, working as talent attraction, recruiting, HR, should make sure that we actively manage those emotions, work with those emotions, if we want the top talents to join our organization. This is why at SAP, we turned human capital management, HCM, to human experience management, HXM, an entirely different category. Why? Because it is about shaping and specifically designing the moments that matter in a candidate's and in an employee's experience. And in order to create this, uh, it is not enough to simply measure the operational data, to measure the operational metrics such as offer to acceptance rates or employee turnover rates or time to productivity. No, because these data, these metrics only tell you about what is happening. But if you want to create experience, you need to understand the why. Because through the why, we can actually shape the environment. We can shape and tailor it to the individual candidates, to the individual employees that we would like to have and keep in our organizations for them to give the best, for them to have the full passion to do their best work and get maximum impact onto the organization. And how can we measure that? Well, this is through a concept of employee lifetime value. Let's take a look at the traditional employee lifetime value. When a candidate hires into your company, starts on day one, in average, it takes a couple of weeks or even months in order to deliver a positive value for your organization. At some point, the employee will reach their maximum value, which will then fall back to zero by the day that they leave your organization. With building your HR based on the pillars of HXM, human experience management, you have the opportunity to vastly increase the employee lifetime value by shortening the ramp up time instead 
of months, making it maybe weeks only, because the candidate already onboards earlier and joins even faster. And by increasing their high, uh, the employee can actually go for By making them stay engaged with the organization longer and generally lengthening the time that they stay at your organization. Employee experience acts as a multiplier in this equation. So, you're asking for the one thing to get HXM right? Let me give you five. Number one, make a shift from traditional HCM, transaction-based processes, to end-to-end -end HR experiences. HCM was about self-service. HCM was about traditional operational HR functions and sticking them and gluing them somehow together. With HXM, it is about reinventing, reorienting along all your HR function and linking them together. From core HR to recruiting, to onboarding, to learning, to performance and goal succession and development, people analytics, bringing it all together and along all those touch points, collecting the experience data and bringing that together into end-to-end -end HR processes. Number two, user experience is key. How easy, how intuitive, how engaging is it for the candidates to browse through your website, the portal, the status where he or she stands in the process? And do they get this information, well, onto their iPhone? Is it an iPhone-like experience from a user experience perspective for the candidate, but not only for them, but also for the HR professional, for the hiring manager and everybody involved in the process? So an outstanding user experience is absolutely key. Third, make use of intelligent technologies. Use technologies like chatbots, conversational AI, RPA, robotic process automations, or machine learning, and make it work for your HR process and for your candidate experience. So imagine you are a candidate or an employee logging onto the career site and actually trying to look for new positions. What about technology in the back actually doing the matching, presenting you actually this very offer that is relevant, that is tailored exactly to yourself, to your competences, to your skills that you have built up and presenting that to you first. Or when we're speaking of the screening process uh, to support, to automate a lot of things for the recruiter and the HR professionals that are involved there. And then finally, when it comes to the communication, for example, personalizing that, both the no's that you're sending out, as well as the yeses, and giving you templates, giving you things that you can work with in order to make you faster and get it more efficiently. So intelligent technologies, certainly a good help as well to improve the candidate experience. Number four, HXM is an ecosystem play. You cannot do it alone and you shouldn't. Connect to HR thought leaders, connect to innovators, team up, partner up with solution providers, with startups to build an open platform. This is how you make the shift to the human experience management. And number five, constantly add why to your what. Adding why means you're constantly listening in order to understand what's going on within the candidate, within the organization, within employees, and then being able to act on that. So collecting this experience data post-interview, so right after the interview, or right after the application process, or post-decision, is extremely valuable and will help you understand not only what is going on, but it will help you understand why, what are the emotions, what are the people thinking. So those are the five points that make a difference in order to get HXM and get the candidate experience right. By doing this, you will incorporate an above average hiring experience for your organizations, making sure that you provide the candidates, the employees with the right things that they need for them to be able to do the best work. And in that sense, attracting the best people and making sure they stay by driving in retention rates. Let's not forget, Recruiting is an emotional roller coaster, full of up and downs and full of lots and curves. And it is in your hand to make it an experience that lasts.